listening to Off Limits. Liberal, irreverent, oh, and really, really gay. everybody welcome to the off limits show thanks for joining me tonight on the show thanks for listening um that's the old theme song i haven't played that in a while so <laughs> uh there it is um it is wednesday may 27th 2015 if you're listening for the first time or listening after that <laughs> you can find out more information about me at offlimitshow.com also um you can follow me on spreaker uh, dot com. Also on Twitter and Facebook, you can also uh, listen to the show by subscribing to um, the i the um, iTunes uh, podcast on iTunes dot com, uh, and of course uh, you can listen via iHeartRadio. So, thanks for listening wherever you're listening. I appreciate it. Uh, so tonight we're talking about outing. Um, and a few other minor things, but I wanted to primarily discuss outing. And um, the reason is because I came across a, uh, hold on a second. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, there we go. That's better. Um, <laughs> my headphones are all jacked up. Anyway, um, I came across a, um, uh, a website the other day, or yes, last night actually. And um, it was a, a website that was talking about the rumored celebrities or gay people uh, in Hollywood who were not openly gay, who weren't out yet or out at all or whatever. And um, it uh, basically, God, this is annoying me. Hold on. I'm sorry. You probably can't hear what I'm doing, but hold on. Test, 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 test. I can hear myself in one ear, not the other. Uh, I'm not sure what that's about. It's the balance is right. Anyway, um, so... And I was thinking about it, thinking about outing and, you know, the practice of outing and that sort of thing. And, and really, it's uh, kind of started with um, uh, Michelangelo Signorinelli. I think that's how you say his name, Signorinelli. He's now a podcast um, uh, podcaster and also writes for Huffington Post. He's a very famous gay activist. And he kind of started with him, I believe, when he outed... Um, I think it was a politician or something like that. I think it was him or Michael Musto, one of those two. I think it was uh, Michelangelo, though. And um, he started the kind of the practice of it and kind of coined the phrase. And, um, you know, and it's utilized against people uh, who, uh, you know, for all various, for various reasons. People will sometimes do it because they want to, um, people sometimes do it because they want to hurt someone's reputation or because someone's being a complete hypocrite. And a lot of times it's just because people are being assholes um, <laughs> to gay people and um, people know that they're gay and uh, in the closet. And so they out them as a result of that. And um, there's different you know, ways of thinking of this and how or not, whether it's a good thing, a bad thing, whether it's uh, moral or not to do that, to do so. And um, I think everybody kind of thinks differently about it. But I wanted to give my two cents on the on the practice of outing and uh, why I think it's important to be out, whether it's being outed by someone or not, but um, but also just uh, um, whether or not the practice is 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 okay or not in my book. So, um, and I basically feel this way. I feel like if you are, for example, as many of the people who were outed, you know, a right wing Republican Nazi, essentially. Um, and you are preaching your preacher or pastor or some kind of person who's in the, um, clergy or whatever, 
and you're telling everyone that gays are evil and disgusting people and uh, so forth, you know, the typical stuff we hear that, and yet you yourself are gay or in the closet and, and are participating in uh, gay sex or whatever behind closed doors. Um, or as, as Ted Haggard experienced, you know, Ted Haggard, the pastor of Colorado, super mega church, uh, a few years ago, whom was outed by a male prostitute whom he had seen many times and done drugs with and had sex with. And um, he came out as being gay, but having gay feelings and, and trying to put them aside or whatever. But he's one of the examples of being outed. And so I think that outing someone in this situation is fine. I think essentially, you know, no one likes a hypocrite. If you're going to be someone who goes around and tells, you know, <laughs> and, and harms people's lives and tells everybody how horrible they are as people, uh, meaning the gay community, and yet you're, you yourself are gay uh, or bi or whatever, um, then you deserve what you get. I feel like it is perfectly justified to out someone in that situation. And I don't find it to be a negative in any sense of the word. I think it's simply comeuppance and you know them getting their due and i don't think it is, is at all a bad thing so if someone were if i were to find out someone were doing that you know being like for example rick perry whom is or was the former governor of texas there have been many rumors that he is gay um and there have been rumors that he is um he's had gay rendezvous with male prostitutes and, and and gay lovers and things like that and that he's really living a sham marriage and so forth and that um, he, however, he's uh, completely against gay marriage in public and completely, you know, an opponent to the gay rights movement in Texas specifically or in the nation. And so if he, for example, were to, um, be outed, you know, I would have no problem with that. Someone like that, I have no problem with, or someone pastor or preacher or whatever. Now, when it comes to people like just general celebrities, you know, a celebrity is someone who is, you know, uh, celebrated <laughs> by the masses, someone who's famous, uh, to some degree at least, and has some sense of notoriety in their profession or, or in the world in some way or another. And, um, so celebrities, uh, in my opinion, I do agree with the notion that they have a certain, uh, understanding that they give up a certain amount of privacy when they become one. Now that doesn't stop certain celebrities, of course, from keeping their, uh, private lives as private as possible. Most of the time, because they have something to hide, which we'll get into in a minute. But I think, you know, generally, generally speaking, uh, I do feel that being a celebrity means you do give up a certain expectation of privacy. Obviously. I mean, that's part of the gig. It's part of being famous. That's part of being, um, paid so well, if you're paid well, if you're an actual actor, actress, singer, musician, athlete, you know, whatever. Um, if you're just someone who did something bad, you're infamous. That's different. But I think that if you are a celebrity, you should have an expectation of less privacy. And therefore, um, when you are a celebrity, let's say you're a celebrity or this person's a celebrity, ex, you know, ex a celebrity, and they're going to Hollywood for the first time. He, he's 20 years old. He knows he's gay but he doesn't want to ruin his career or, you know, um, or inhibit his career in any way, and, you know, impede his career in any way. Um, so he doesn't tell anyone he's gay and he, he lives a lie and everyone thinks he's heterosexual and in his private life, he's gay and he may, maybe he has a boyfriend or whatever, or dates on and off, whatever. And his off time. And, uh, it comes out, you know, someone he scorned a lover or something and they come out and they tell the tabloids he's gay and they have this long relationship with him and the celebrity sues and, and, uh, says he, no, he's not gay and how dare he, and he's going to sue him for everything he's worth, worth. And ultimately, uh, he is still, still has that, uh, stigma that he's gay, even if he isn't gay or was, even if it's never proven to be gay, that he was gay yet. He's still in the closet and lying and everything else. One thing people hate is a liar. Um, or someone who is being something that they're not, you know, a hypocrite or whatever, or being fake. And, you know, we as the masses do not respond well to fakes and people who are not authentic as, as much as they can be in the public eye. We respond really well to people who are authentic. People like, you know, we, I mean, I can use some examples of people I think are authentic. You may not agree, but people like Oprah Winfrey and, um, 
I don't know who else. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's a million other people, I'm sure. Actors and actresses I could give you. Like, uh, oh, Meryl Streep, you know, I think she's very very authentic and she just is who she is and 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 i don't know there's a ton of people like that i could name off and um so people like that and of course the people who were actually already out actors who were already out actors and actresses who were out like ellen DeGeneres and uh, portia de rossi and um uh matt bomer hot hunk hunk uh, um and uh um uh, neil patrick harris and uh and, i mean the, the list goes on and on and on the people the number of people who've come out in the past you know 10 15 years is astronomical compared to when i was coming up and growing up in the 90s early 90s and the late 80s when i was a kid and when you didn't really have any kind of real uh role model um and that's why i'm getting i'm getting to that in a minute but first let me say there is a list that I saw online. It's an old list. It's like from 2011. And so some of the people I'm going to read, you already know are gay, but this list has, um, uh, it's a list of rumored gay celebrities in Hollywood and people who, Oh, this is driving me nuts. Hold on. Sorry. (sighs) Hopefully you can still hear me. Why is this coming through one channel? It says it's coming through both channels. I guess you can hear me. Okay. But my freaking headphones are freaking up. I need to get some new headphones. Hold on. Uh, okay. I think that's good. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, um, so here's a list of some of the celebrities that have been rumored and why to be gay. Um, ben Affleck. Rumor has... Well, he's not gay, but it's a, this is what the rumor is. Ben Affleck. Rumor has it that Gwyneth Paltrow caught Matt Damon kissing Ben Affleck. And Ben told Matt he was straight at a party and blackmailed Ben into going out with her so she wouldn't tell people Matt was gay. And he also supposedly wears a toupee, which people, that's also a uh, well-known fact as well. So that's the first one. Brad Pitt. And this is ironic. I just read this last night and night before last. And this is an old post, uh, like from four years ago or no, what year are we in? Like four years ago. And uh, it just came out on People Magazine. I think it was this week that Brad Pitt may be bisexual and that he's rumored to be bisexual. And then he had a tryst or he had invited a porn star named Cameron uh, Fox, whom you know if you you know gay porn is. He's actually dead now. Uh, but um, he died a few years ago of a gunshot or suicide or something. But anyway, um, uh, he, he invited Cameron Fox to his... Well, actually, I'll read what it says. It says... Um, actually, it doesn't say here. He invited Cameron Fox to his hotel room. And when he got there, he didn't look like his picture. He wasn't as hot as he thought. And so he... And, you know, he was an escort. And so he gave him a thousand dollars and told him to leave. And he did because he wasn't his type. Um, but it says the rumor is that he's bisexual and that's why he's been, he likes being with Angelina Jolie because she is also bisexual and lets him experiment. And Jennifer Aniston did not let him, but did know that she, that he was. Um, then we have Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell had sex with Gianni Versace model, Corey Bernstein had sex with drag queen, Elaine Lancaster, also known as James Davis tried to convince 70 year old actress Dame Eileen Atkins. They filmed a movie together, ask the dust to have sex with him. And she refused. Um, there's also, there's a, um, a, um, porn, uh, like a sex tape or whatever of him having sex with some woman. Um, so if you've never seen it, you should see it. He's got a really beautiful penis. But anyway, uh, also they're saying George Clooney has been seen at gay parties. Is it married yet? Oh, he's married yet. And he's old, but of course that doesn't mean he's gay. Some of these are stupid. Hayden Christensen, his secret lover is supposed supposedly Trevor Blumas, who was in the movie ice princess and lives in Brighton, England, also known to be a gay city like San Francisco. Hugh Jackman, boy, George says he saw him kissing and holding hands with a man was in a Broadway play called The Boy from Oz, uh, which was about a gay man, and did a few porn movies early in his career. And actually, Hugh Jackman has admitted to doing porn early in his career. I've seen the articles about it, but I've never, in the interviews, but he never said if they were gay or not. They must have been heterosexual. Um, J.C. Chazes, we know he's gay now. John Travolta, of course. This has been a long time rumor. Apparently, everyone in Hollywood knows he's been gay for years, and he wears a hairpiece. Also became part of a lawsuit against the Church of Scientology when gay artist Michael Patterson sued them because they claimed they could turn gay people straight and use John Travolta as an example, but they couldn't. He sued because he spent all of his money and wound up still being gay. Also, a male porn star named Paul Barisi gave graphic details of a two-year affair that he allegedly had with Travolta right before he started to date and then married Kelly Preston in 1991. 